Hi there, my name is Amanda Buck. I'm a fine book binder, book conservator, book restorer down in Dahlonega, Georgia. Today I would like to show you what we use for our basic tools for fine book binding. Uh, starting with bone folders. I have three or four different bone folders that I use for folding leather, cloth, paper. This is a large one strictly for cloth bindings only. And I have a little tiny one that I use for precision work on smaller bindings. I have uh, scalpels, which is used primarily on uh, conservation restoration work for lifting, um, slicing, dicing, replacing minute pieces of cloth and leather back onto the books that have been disassembled. Incredibly important tools. A steel divider for doing precision work. Primarily I use these for gold finishing, gold tooling, um, measuring to get the where the tooling and the lines go exactly um, so that you have a, a fine finished product, fine binding uh, the work comes down to less than a millimeter and if you're off the eye can see it so dividers are very important. Um, I still have these from my training over in England 20 years ago. A lot of my tools are um, from that time and they're still in perfect shape. Uh, a brush for putting on paste and glue. A backing hammer for rounding and backing the spine. Shears for cutting leather, flesh, cutting flesh I guess. They probably use these in butcher shops but we also use them in fine book binding. Um, a steel rule, a paring knife for paring your leather edges for uh, fine leather bindings and leather reback restorations. Uh, band nippers. This is used for the process when you have raised bands on a leather spine and the glue, the leather and the claw and the the glue, the leather and the backing are all drying and you want to work around the bands as it dries to get a nice, tight, clean raised leather band. A brush for cleaning off dust and debris and cobbler's knives for cutting materials. Um, over in England we had to use cobbler's knives. Um, in America I've taken a shortcut of using, I still use these, but uh, a lot of times for cutting materials I'll use these razor blade knives that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's or any hardware store. Um, that way you're not sharpening your cobbler's knife every five minutes. Um, and you get the same result. Um, for finishing, I have a type holder. We place the brass type in, the letters individually with spacing by hand, and then heat them up on the finishing stove. And this is a pallet, a brass pallet, for doing gold lines. And those are the basic tools for handbook binding. I hope you've enjoyed the video. You can reach me at www.book-restoration.com. Uh, my name is Amanda Buck. I'm a master bookbinder out of Dahlonega, Georgia. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.